All right, looks like Battlefield, the true neutral. Yep. It's it's the handshake you walk up to the setup with uh, someone you really don't know. Like, Yo, yep. you, you don't want to just start Battlefield? All right, dude, I'm down to start <laughs> Battlefield. Ooh. Looks like Dark Heel's perfectly comfortable with starting Battlefield. Yeah. He already takes a stock 12 seconds into the match. Insane. Yeah, that was so fast. You look away for one second, you miss the first stock as he ledge hogs the straight up up B. Good stuff from him. Now we get to kind of see how he plays from ahead. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Sheik's low profile crouches under Marth's get-up attack? I did not know that. Yeah, so I think it's spacing dependent. You have to be, like, inside of him for that to work, and then it works sometimes. Um, That's wild. Yeah, I think it's, like, not super consistent to try to go for it, but, yeah, wait, that looks wild. Oh, great ops attack? And the fastball on the ledge. Great defensive option for the other bad. Yeah. Finds a rising nair, just like that, brute forcing his way through. And Ben's back in control here, not letting that early death sort of haunt him. Uh, he's still behind, to be sure, but he's looking good. Quick movement onto the ledge, and a setup for an up tilt. Into down tilt, yes, yeah. sir. And Dark here will have a commanding low percent stock advantage. Yep. Is he holding on to that stock lead he got in the first 11 seconds of the match, right? So it's always nice when you can have a lead early on and just carry it sure. all the way to a game win, right? And yeah, just trade it down. That's all you got to do. Yep, exactly. Trade it down. It's like in chess when you're just like, yeah, but now we can just trade pieces, you know? <laughs> all right, looking for one more launcher. An aggressive down smash will get punished here for the side of Dark Hero. Yeah, getting a lot of damage. on these platforms, really pressuring the shield. Finds his way onto ledge, and we're back in center. Yeah, just like that. These guys are playing like very even. It just happens to be the Dark Hero has that early stock. So, uh, like you said, uh, he's trading it down. It looks really good right now. Dark Hero is just kind of running his game plan. He might be able to even extend his lead over here. Right, he finds a juicy grab here, grab. follow up, and waits out the defensive options onside flat, and then snipes it out with the needles. Let's go. Two stocks apiece, but 110, a little worse for wear. A little tired and weary is this Sheik stock. Yeah. Let's see if Dark Hero can put it to sleep. Okay, not finding the tech chase on the platform, but does find the up tilt on the recovery. Oh, back here, just like that, pushes him off, protects him just for one more chance to get back to stage. The dash pivot forward smash. Doesn't quite close it out, doesn't have the tipper on it. Man, Ben is being very, uh determined with this last stock right he's just trying to make as much as he can out of it a down tilt will close it out though good tipper for him. and then a little bit lazy on that invincibility refresh and dark hero more than happy to snuff that out back throw into down smash is a dark hero classic has been doing that follow-up for years stack up some really early damage on um uncertain tech chases is what he used to say mm -hmm. yeah that makes sense <laughs> And look at these soft up airs, the instant rising up air. That is not super easy to do. Finds a conversion all the way to a down air. Man, so he had a stock lead early on and he finishes it with a two stock. So he, I mean, managed to make his lead even bigger by the end of it. Really clean stuff from Dark Hero. Uh, he just, I mean, very surprising to anyone who hasn't seen him in this tournament run so far. Honestly, not that surprising for anyone who's been watching his run up till now. He just looks so strong. If you've been here since the since the broadcast started, or if you're one of the um, 15 melee fans from the West Texas region, like you you know what you're here to see. Yeah. But we're happy to have you guys here again. Welcome to the Team Oxine channel, and you're witnessing um, the birth of a superstar, ladies and gentlemen. Dark Hero, a box style Marth from the West Texas region, a hidden boss the greater texas scene and it is he's more than happy to show you guys what he's made of <laughs> see someone complaining that the bandwagoners ruined the odds on his dark bet <laughs> i mean i had 3k stacked up and i threw it all on my boy I'm the, I'm yeah yeah <laughs> hell yeah it's like i should have been, oh, been betting this whole time it's the first time i've thrown a bet down yeah, Dang, I've been forgetting. I, I'd be rolling in points right now. I'm always forgetting to bet. We we used to like do it all the time, and then I lost all of my points. I I had up to like 60k <laughs> at one point, and I went all the way down to zero, and then I was just so sad, and I've just always been forgetting to bet since. <laughs> oh, goes for the oh, sweet spot oh. on the up tilt. Couldn't quite get the continuation, but the refresh with the half stash. One more. The hilt. hilt. Wow. The hilt. Box will do it. Yeah, so barely got to walk through. He was like walking up to him and barely crosses him up and then gets the forward smash. And crouch into the re grab here. Set him up for a pretty decent follow up. But Dark Hero finds himself up with some, bat with some fade back fares. Stack up a little bit of damage and Ben yeah. will clean it up. Pushes him off with the back air, giving himself 
a chance once again, because uh, this lead is not as big as the one that Dark had on the last game. So, Ooh, that grab was max range. Insane. That gets another scoop, a little bit of more damage, 65%, gets another knockdown, and finds yourself in the corner here. Being in the corner against Dark Hero is not a good time. <laughs> Pivot down tilt's coming that full yeah. approach. This dude is crazy. Pivot down tilt's one of those things. It's not just that it's good, and it is. It's very good, but it's surprising. Every time it hits you, you're gonna have a little bit of a broken brain moment of like, wait, I've literally never been hit by this ever. <laughs> like, I've been playing this game for years, and I've never been hit by dash back pivot down tilt. So it's just like makes you doubt some of the options that you're choosing, right? Because you're like, oh, this guy's using things I've never seen before. I need to like readjust what I think is correct in this game. If you're an old fan of um, the Scar and Toph, the Reads content, mm -hmm. Cyrox came out for um, for an episode and he was, this was back when Cyrox was the technical guy. Yeah. And he was just at that point doing like, yo, Toph, look at my dash back pivot down tilt with Fox. Yeah. And he would, he popped up, like would jump out of his seat yeah. every time he did it. And now here you have, you know, Dark Hero doing it with Marth and it just has so much more utility yeah. in this situation. Yeah, it's it's, this is the state of melee where things that made Cyrox pop off two years ago are now just standard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we had a SoCal Mark who would talk about his dash back pivot down tilts. Uh, he played on a controller in the Wieners. He was ranked in SoCal at one point, and uh, he would do it sometimes. But Dark Hero is doing it so consistently. It's just part of his game plan, right? Like, it just looks so practiced. Because the thing about it is, like, oh my god. Finds a kill there, bring us to last lock situation. But just to finish that thought, it's that, like, it's not just that you can do pivot down tilts. They're not just inherently good all the time. He's using him in the right spots every time, right? So it's a very complete game plan here from Dark Hero. It's really cool. All right, last lock situation as we're discussing this uh, this down tilt metagame. But, you know, hopping in, you know, 60% deficit is definitely a little worse for him, but great slide off tech coming out from Dark Hero. Dark Hero finds himself back on the ledge with a hack sash refresh. Dashes straight through like a madman, but Ben grabs him straight in his arms. One more grab here. Oh, oh missed this. Big... Yeah. Kind of missed the up air there, but got the follow up anyways, if not a better follow up, because I don't think up air would have killed. But he missed the up air and then just falling slaps him, and that's the one that kills. So good stuff to Ben for kind of putting himself on the board here, tying up the series one to one. Right. Uh, good counter pick. I imagine we're going to see FD here, unless Dark Hero has darker ideas here. <laughs> I think FD is definitely one of the uh, probably the go to counter pick here, but yeah. thinking on his on his own you know style of play, Yoshi's isn't out of the isn't out of the question, but I also think Ben is. Super well practiced on the stage, so we're probably going to see a final destination locked in here, and yes, we will. All right, <laughs> instant grab, wiggle out, and oh, Ben's kind of um, catching on to these um, these fade back fairs, and does get a grab for his for his um, trouble there, looking for a little bit of a trouble situation. Dark Hero, three hitboxes have landed, but Ben on a little bit of a punish on his own 77 even. They're the same percent. Come on, man. <laughs> These guys are way too close right now. Having the back and forth series of their lives. Ben with the gumption to steal away stock number one first. And uh, Dark Hero trying to play this corner pressure situation like he has been for the greater part of his tournament run. Snipes him out with a flappy backer into mm. the smack. Big tipper F smash. Yeah, needed that to tip her to get the kill too. Marth actually kind of struggles against Sheik's recovery. She can OMS attack everything and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> but if you find the tipper, that's the one thing that can kind of close out a stock pretty early there. So let's see if Dark Hero can keep cashing in on that. All right, gets the carry. No jump, no jump. All right, we'll find himself back to Terra Firma one more time. And we'll sum himself up for a pretty um, advantageous position here. Great Nair Action Shields mm. continue this follow through but a reversal from dark hero looking to put on some pressure will get hit by the get up attack and we're back to neutral here yeah back to neutral once again they were within 10 percent of each other ben is able to close out the stock first though finding the tilt into up air at the top there and uh now he's going to build up a percent lead loses a stack of needles not too bad though and if this um if this kind of game plan keeps manifesting himself through ben will be the one to take this game through right because Operating on the back foot here, you can't keep trading down with Ben here because he's more than happy to continue with this fade back, uh, fade back back air approach and just tip down on this percentage. Ooh, this time he scoops in there. Wave dash forward, forward tilt to kind of chase him down. And yeah, it's kind of funny. Both players have kind of won their games this way by kind of having a lead and holding on to it the entire time. 
and uh, it just really seems for hard for either one of these players to run away with the lead here until right now Ben tries to prove me a liar immediately and takes a two stock lead. <laughs> Not the greatest DI on that tip or forward yep. end. And oh, Ooh. but still manages to find his way pixel perfect onto the top of the ledge. Oh, and finding the full 16 from his needles there. That's going to hurt. Oh, oh, great needles for Ben, but just yeah. roll it. Yes, sir. Dang, good good awareness here from Dark Hero. A lot of people kind of panic when they get hit by that needle, but Dark Hero was ready with the contingency plan. But ben is getting a ton of damage here, and this is a... Uh, this is looking pretty brutal. This is Dark Hero's counterpick. It's not like he's going to have a, a brutal counterpick stage after this. So if Ben's able to kind of close this one out, he will be in a good position. And with the instant shield re-grab, but the super aggressive fastball downer will bail out Ben in this situation. So hyper aggressive option will bail him out. And the refresh down to... Oh, Light you him, must yeah. recover part four. Ben, 44% two stock, looking real clean on that FD game. That is a stage, uh, Drug Fox famously kind of talked about the Sheik's Punish Game flowchart on this stage being pretty good. Uh, you can threaten the kill with down throw tip or up smash at very low percents. Forces him to DI away, getting you more chain grabs and stuff like that. And Ben looks pretty rehearsed in his prep Punish Game right now, getting a ton of damage off everything. It kind of mitigates the strength of this counter pick, the better Sheik's Punish Game gets. So it's very cool to see from Ben here. Tries to find a little bit of pop-ups here. Great 50, or sorry, 60% combo here from Dark Hero. Gets the chase down here. Great dash tag from Ben. Snipes out the jump, no jump, no jump. Woo! Yeah, wow. Perfect angle on that forward air, right? That's just that semi-spike. Just sends him, barely dodges the stage, and then just way too far down to actually recover here. But Dark Hero looking at smash it. and wow. just hold it. All right, three stocks apiece, ladies and gents. Hope you're locked in. We have an excellent match here for you. 27% and with starting off with the S match here from Ben, but the follow through is devastating with a 73% combo. The reverse jab was so long range, crazy. Trying to find a kill here, doesn't quite get it, but the scoop, he keeps finding these run up down tilts, man. And the missed ledge dash is how he closes out the stock. We take those. You need an explosive stock here if you're dark here. You've got to be able to put yourself back in the driver's seat if you want to continue to make this stock. Yeah. Yeah, and you're so right about this back air. Ben has found three stray back airs on this stock to get him to 33% right now. And just like that, as soon as he gets him to knockdown percent, boom, go for the throat. Gets a huge combo. Gets him up to 81. So dark here kind of... Jump soft up air to set himself up. No jump for Ben. But does find himself back to, this, back to the ledge here. Again, these... These smash turn fastball backers are mm -hmm. putting in so much work for Ben. Yeah. And that is not an easy input to hit. That's a, I think it's a one or two frame window yeah. to get those, um, those gate to gate on your GameCube controller to set up for that smash turn. Yeah. His, yeah, he's looking very well practiced here. And there's the tipper up smash I was talking about, the Drug Fox classic. You can never DI in on that down throw. You just got to eat the mix up. Take the forward air, take the re-grabs. It sucks, but like that's just what she gets, man. <laughs> All right, gets the dash through, grab, sets up for an edge guard. Oh, really aggressive on that up air. Oh. Reaper will get punished. Yeah. Oh, catches no jump. All right, back to, back to stage. Looking for one more opening. Gets the down tilt. Gets the pop up. No confirm onto the up tilt. Looking for a big knockdown here. 140% for Ben. And Ben just needs to continue whittling down. Yeah, jeez. Ben looking so switch. political right now, man. He just really found what he needed to do. Adjusted his game plan as the set went on. And now he just looks impossible to hit as he whittles his opponent up to knockdown percent and then goes for the throw. He's so Ben. Back at 182. Down to Another up scoop. And at right, this point, all but over the final curtain.